Hey guys, Matt Easton here, Scholar Galani Toria. So, stamina. Uh, I'm not actually one out, I'm just acting to make a point, but um, clearly I'm going to win an Oscar for my acting there. But clearly, um, the point that I want to make is about stamina. Um, and stamina is a really important thing. Stamina breaks down into a few different um, kind of categories, but actually, the thing I was thinking about um, was a while ago I was talking to some um, computer game people. And uh, I was sort of listing all the things that I thought were really critical to focusing on and putting more attention into to get right in computer games in the future, to make fighting more realistic um, and therefore a little bit more detailed, a bit more interesting and a bit more engaging and a bit more um, kind of fit into the context of, you know, um, effectiveness of fighting, how you want to win certain things and different ways you might be able to beat people or get beaten. And um, stamina is a really important thing in combat, um, in a broad sense. Now, a lot of people will go, um, oh, you know, in a, in a duel, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, if it's in the street, if I'm a, I'm a bodyguard or a bouncer, or um, if indeed, you know, you're an 18th century gentleman having a small sword duel, in that context, you might not need a huge amount of stamina. In a sense, that's kind of true, I suppose. Um, you're, you're not going to be marching or running a long way, you're not going to be trying to take uh, fortifications or waypoints or whatever. Um, you're, you're just there to have a fight and that fight might be over in seconds. That's true. However, in the grand scheme of things, in the big sort of ultimate sphere of combat, of all of the things that that covers, obviously war, skirmishing, um, siege warfare, defending, attacking, uh, dueling, street fighting, fighting in multiple opponents, um, all of this kind of stuff. Stamina in general is pretty important. However, stamina, and this is where I said stamina breaks down into different categories, doesn't always mean exactly what people think it does. Um, so, I'm not the fittest person in the world, but clearly I'm not massively unfit either. I'm not carrying, uh, I'm relatively slim, I'm not carrying ex extra weight in general. Um, I do cycle most days, or about half of the week at the moment, but in some weeks, um, most days of the week. Um, and obviously I fence um, at least um, once a week, but usually a couple of times a week. Um, so I'm relatively fit. However, I'm certainly not as fit as some people in history, so, as an average soldier today in fact would be, um, you know, the fact is I, um, I cycle and I walk a fair amount on my daily commute to work, but I don't do like 20 mile marches on a regular basis, I don't, um, I hardly ever swim, um, I, I don't carry heavy loads on a regular basis, or I occasionally have, it, have to, um, when I'm lugging my kit around or doing DIY or something, um, but um, I'm not massively fit and certainly there's a lot of people in HEMA who are way fitter than I am and can I can I beat some of those super fit people in a HEMA contest? Yeah, yeah I can but that's that's because I'm um, in, in those cases I might be more skilled or I might be more experienced um, um, or, or whatever it's not a direct measurement of who is fittest will win the fight, clearly. And that's not what I'm saying, and that's not what I want people to think that I'm saying. But, overall, if you take me, or person X, it doesn't matter, but if you take me, um, and you make me fitter than I am now, or even slightly stronger, but I want to keep this on stamina for now, if you make me slightly fitter than I am now, um, and then I have to fight myself, will the person who's slightly fitter um, stand a better chance of winning in that fight? Yes, generally speaking. But coming back to what I was saying about breaking stamina down into different categories, it's not only aerobic fitness, okay, so it's not only about running, swimming, um, cycling, whatever, okay, it's also about muscular kind of fitness as well, and stamina as I would term it. Stamina is a fairly nebulous term, but stamina is actually your ability to fight for longer, okay, or your ability to do anything for longer, but in the case of martial arts, to fight for longer. And actually part of that can be down to strength as well, and that's where strength does come into it. As a simple example, when we're standing, you've seen us, I'll just grab a sabre, it's actually a cutlass, but it's close enough, um, you've seen us, uh, you've seen videos of us fencing with sabre, you'll notice one of the positions that we often fence from is this, known as the high second. We might fence from this position, which is terse, or some people fight from up here, which is um, essentially a hanging guard or a preem. Um, 
But in these positions, when people start doing uh, that type of fencing, and this applies to other types of fencing with long swords and sword and buckler and rapier and whatever else, when they start, they often go, oh, my arms get, my arms so tired, and they essentially run out of stamina. Not because, not that they run out of breath, but their muscles run out of essentially juice, run out of energy to keep holding that weapon up. And so that's quite debilitating to you in a fight. If you can't keep the weapon held up, or you can't keep attacking, and you can't keep moving around, it doesn't really matter uh, within that fight whether you're talking about your lungs and your heart and your sort of aerobic fitness, or whether you're talking about your muscular fitness and your ability to move that weapon quickly and keep doing so for a long time. I would class all of that under stamina, and stamina therefore of course is important, and it's a combination of general fitness, a bit of aerobic and a bit of, bit of muscular. Um, so yes, stamina is super important. Now bringing this back to computer games, just to finish off, um, so I don't witter on for too long hopefully. Um, with computer games, one of the big problems with combat is, with a few exceptions, and I do know there are some computer games that take into consideration stamina, which is fantastic. But the majority of computer games where there is combat, be it first person or third person or whatever, um, they don't take into consideration stamina. And whether you're talking about men fighting, or indeed horses as well, stamina is a major, major, major factor in who wins and who loses in warfare and in fighting. And very clearly, um, if, a, if an army has to quickly march 25 miles, forced march 25 miles and then fight, they're not going to be as effective as an army that's just kind of marched one mile and then fought. Okay? Equally, if um, someone's attacking a fortification and they're having to run and they're being shot at or having things shot at, arrows shot at them or thrown at them or whatever, if they're running around and they have to climb over some things, da da da, 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 da climbing over, maybe climb under a thing and then they have to climb up a ladder while being things being thrown down on them and everything and then they have to fight very clearly they're not going to be as effective at that moment of having to fight except for maybe there are some things which might come in like just being really pissed off and really aggressive by that point but generally speaking they're not going to be as effective in that fight when they go in with their bayonet or their sword or their whatever they've got um, as they would have been if they hadn't had to do all of that climbing and running and ducking and crawling. Okay? So stamina massively affects the outcome of a fight. Uh, and clearly if I've just fought one dude, bam, 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 and I knock him out and I win that fight and then his mate attacks me, clearly at that point his mate is going to have a stamina advantage over me. So I would love to see um, more recognition taken in, if we're talking about martial arts or HEMA or any other martial art, Obviously, fitness, both in terms of aerobic fitness but muscular fitness as well, is massively useful. Okay, and it doesn't matter how skillful or experienced you are, if you can also make yourself slightly stronger and slightly fitter, you're going to be even better. Okay, so that's a good thing. It's also good because it'll probably help you live longer and just generally be happier. Um, but if we're talking about kind of simulated combat, so like computer games, for example then I would really, really like to see more notice taken and recognition taken of the fact that stamina is a major, it can be a major deciding factor. I'm not saying it's always the deciding factor, but can be a major deciding factor in the outcome of combat. Cheers, folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and feel free to follow us on Facebook.